Hi, I'm Greg Sletton here on the set of Soundcheck. It's great to be here with you guys. It's also great to be here with the band Greybeard. Let's go ahead and introduce the band. Um, why don't you say your name? Sam. All right. Hi, Sam. I'm Lyle. Lyle, good to see you. And you, Fred. And Fred. Okay, okay. So now that we know each other so well, I want to get to some serious <laughs> business. Um, the name Greybeard. Yeah. Uh, other than the obvious, is there, a, is there an interesting uh, story behind that? Well, facial hair accoutrement aside, uh, it actually is a, a, a religious reference to uh, a cardinal back in the day in Great Britain who uh, the townspeople didn't like. And so the potters made these large vessels for transporting beer between tavern and brewery and tavern and tavern. And so they would scrawl this little caricature of him with this long gray beard. <laughs> and so they just came shorthand for, rather than bring me that big keg of beer, they said, hey, bring me over a gray beard. <laughs> not great. that we would know anything about beer. Oh, no. no. Is that what they really call it? Is that what we had it yesterday? We had a gray <laughs> I, beard? No, I don't think it would have anything to do with the color of your beard, though, does it? Changed no, mine. Yeah. <laughs> if you do well, it just right, it turns white. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's get to our first song, but before we do, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, say the instrument that you play in the band? Well, I, I met the band and they needed a bassist. Primarily, I'm a guitarist by okay. background. I play a little guitar solo for them. That's what I sure. do. Sure. Okay, good. Lyle? Guitar player, uh, I, I write some of the original songs and I'm generally the lead singer. Okay, great. Fred? Uh, I play keyboards, harmonica, and anything else that needs to be played. You play a little, uh, you know, jogger, you blow on the, on the gray beard? Empty, empty gray beard. <laughs> you could have that. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, why don't you guys uh, introduce the first song for me before you hear it? Well, the first song was, uh, I was at the podium and uh, the guys were trying to sell me a guitar and I was with Lyle and he was saying, just do something you know. And I didn't know anything and I knew a Doc Watson tune and I just did a variation on it. All sure. it is, it's a variation on a really old Doc Watson special, close to my heart. All right, nice. Well, I'm sure we're going to enjoy it. Thanks. a great song you guys hey um sam that yep. was a wonderful solo you did in that last song why don't you tell me a little bit about that solo style well the style is a uh, it's kind of a blues style with finger picking it's it's a doc watson deal it comes from a song he did deep river blues mm -hmm. and the day i kind of like riffed it out in the first place that we were looking for a finger picking guitar to replace this one oh. <laughs> and it came across good enough that i just decided to follow it up finish it off and it became one of our standards we've nice. been playing it for years Nice. Well, that brings me to another question. Uh, what is your favorite style of music? Originally, it was ragtime. Now okay. it's more kind of morphing into the, the finger-picking blues style. I get a really thick kick out right. of people who enjoy listening to blues, and when they see it finger-picked, yeah. they don't expect it. They expect a flat pick. Uh -huh. So right. I've got a That's marriage what I going. Would think too. That's good. Yeah. Fred, what about you? What's your favorite style of music? Uh, I'm a Chicago kid. Okay. I used to hang out uh, in Chicago at some of the. Uh, blues clubs and stuff like that, so I'm kind right. of a 
blues aficionado. <laughs> that's great, that's great. And then Lyle, what's your favorite style of music? Boy, I, I really can't uh, come up with a genre that I like the best, but I tend to gravitate in terms of what I like to listen to as singer-songwriters, mm -hmm. primarily guitar players uh, with the band extracted and unplugged as the popular like vernacular. Like that James Taylor kind of but, thing? Well, or Young, yeah, or? But a little more aggressive that even. Okay. But uh, with the band stripped away, I like to hear, kind of, for example, a Bob Dylan song, which oh, is sure. Bob Dylan yep. playing yep. the guitar with no accompaniment. Yeah. And you Maybe can kind of, you can kind of feel feel the expression and get mm -hmm. more of the meaning that he was putting into the lyrics when it's unfettered. <laughs> That's great. Well, I'm excited to hear the next song. Uh, Lyle, why don't you set it up and tell us a little bit about this next tune we're going to hear. Well, the, uh, the next song uh, Sammy brought to the band, it comes from that 1920s fingers style. It's called Ain't She Sweet, a very popular song. And, and many people uh, think that song is about take a look at that hot girl or my girlfriend, <laughs> but it's really a father writing it about his daughter. And the interesting historical note is the daughter became Shanna Alexander. And she's the famous CBS news reporter that was mm -hmm. parodied on Saturday Night Live by Jane Curtin in the Point Counterpoint <laughs> oh, yeah, segment with Dan Aykroyd. Yes. Her father wrote it about her. That's the little yeah. one. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. So what's the name of the song again? Ain't She Sweet. Ain't She Sweet. Let's go ahead and hear the song. Casting eyes in her direction. Be oh my, ain't that perfection? a great song you guys I hear a lot of different styles and you're playing um, how long let me get a, a number of how long how many years have you been playing quick oh, 49 <laughs> okay how many years uh, just 54 guess. okay how many years do you think yeah 42 okay good well now that brings me to my next question which is what first got you into music like is there a memory when you were a little kid or, or something you heard that really made you say I want to be a musician Go ahead, Sam, you start. Okay, the play drive occurred when my parents saw me frozen, literally <laughs> frozen in front of the family hi-fi. They ran out and bought me a five-string banjo so I could play like the Foggy Mountain Boys. Oh, nice. And that's what got me started. <laughs> then after that, Dad had a guitar, and I started playing with Dad. We decided the guitar was better, and so he made me earn the daylights out of <laughs> this yeah, guitar yeah. 49 years ago. This very one, huh? This is the guy. Nice. So, yeah. That's about it. Nice. That's a great Never story. Never left. Yeah. Say, Fred, why don't you tell me a little bit about your uh, musical history? Um, well, 
it probably is something I inherited from my dad. He was okay. the uh, conductor of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. And they had oh, a jazz yes. band back in the 20s oh, wow. and 30s. Okay, wow. And um, he taught music at a couple of the universities in, in the Chicago area. Very and uh, so I couldn't avoid it. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, he used to like all different kinds of music. And mm -hmm. probably his favorite to listen to when he was just hanging around the house was the big band. Oh, right. Um, yeah. And that kind of migrated yeah. into the Chicago blues. Right. Um, the first blues guy I saw was B.B. Uh, King. Wow. Um, really? By mistake, actually, I walked into a nightclub and his in Chicago. This yeah, was yeah. Oh wow! Oh, and okay. uh, one of his friends was playing saxophone, and he said, "Well, we have a special guest here tonight." But and BB King walked up and unpacked Lucille and started playing. <laughs> I thought, mm -hmm. "That's really cool. <laughs> um, I, I'd like to do that." Yeah. So um, that was during my college years. And wow, um, very impressive. Well, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Still yeah. is. That's great. That's a good start. So, Lyle, let me uh, hear a little bit about your history. Uh, my history is similar to Sammy's. Uh, so I had an older brother, and my father had an old Victrola, one of those RCA Victors where the dog is tilting his head listening for his master. Oh, yeah, on the inside you know, of the cabinet you know, kind yeah. of thing? Yeah. He opened it up, yeah, and he yeah. had a big crank on mm -hmm. it, and he put down the needle, and my father had this whole collection of country western swing Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys, Gene mm. Autry, yeah. and oh, my yeah. brother and I wore those babies out. We regrooved the master. Oh yeah. And over and over, and my father loved to sing, and he was a yodeler. He was oh, an really? over-the-road driver at the time, working okay. for, and he would play the harmonica, and so it just you saw it, a lot it, of that. it kind yeah. of became part of me. And then uh, the Mickey Mouse Club. I know that sounds really <laughs> stupid, but Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> Sang. Jimmy yeah, yeah, yeah. played this little Martin four-string tenor guitar, <laughs> really? and I fell in love with it, and it was shaped like Mickey Mouse with the ears <laughs> on the upper part. And so my parents found me a plastic one. And so when I was six, I went to school, and for show and tell, I played uh, Red River Valley on a Mickey Mouse guitar. With a standing guitar, ovation all with the With a, with a Mickey Mouse guitar. So that yeah. was my first public appearance. Oh, 50, that's great. 54 years ago. Yeah. And you've been a star ever since, Well, right? no, uh, actually, I picked, I played the plectrum four-string banjo in okay. high school, mm -hmm. and that's why my guitar style uh, complements what mm -hmm. Sammy mm -hmm. does, because sure. he's a finger player, and I'm really that a plectrum kind of guy, yep. Yep. and so I'm very rhythmic. It's almost like a drum. They say it's basically a drum with strings, and so that's kind Amazing. of what Amazing. Hey, guys, why don't you tell me a little bit about the next song that we're about to hear? Well, next song... Uh, all eyes look to lie. Yeah. <laughs> sin to tell a lie. It's a sin to tell a lie, sometimes just called sin to tell a lie. Uh, popularized originally by Fats Waller. Remember mm -hmm. Fats Waller? Mm -hmm. Big piano player. Mm -hmm. Had the gravelly right, right. voice, right? Yeah, well, everybody's done it. Everybody, Gene Autry's done it. Roy Rogers did it. Uh, we do a version that's very much like Chicagoland player, oh, the sure. late Steve Goodman. Okay. Uh, a little bit swing into it, got a little bit, you can hear that plectrum growing, mm -hmm. and there's a couple uh, changes in it that uh, will be very familiar. All right, great, well let's get to it. Sure that it 
it's true. You say I love you, a sin to tell a like Rockefeller, a sin to tell a like. I'm kind of interested in finding out a little bit um, about how you guys met. Fred, why don't you tell me the story that in your your version of how you guys all met. Okay. Um, we actually met in the basement of a church. Okay. Um, kind of by mistake, really, but it, we, we were asked to play for a, a Sunday morning worship service um, that none of us had been in the church before. Mm -hmm. um, and Lyle kind of said, well, I, I need a keyboard player and I need yep. a bass player and I need a... You know, they have a drummer and so on and so forth. So we, our first rehearsal was in the basement of a church. Um, and um, it's kind of appropriate because we've done a lot of uh, playing in churches over yeah. the years. Um, but it's kind of migrated into a um, play for fun um, mm -hmm. and um, play for venues like benefits and backyard parties and so on and so forth. Um, we don't take requests. No. Um, if you don't like what we play, well, sorry. I saw you guys at the farmer's market yep. one time. Yep. That, was a good, yep. that was a good show here mm -hmm. in Mom. Well, let's, um, let's talk a little bit about, you guys have some original music. Mm -hmm. Who's the primary songwriter? Lyle, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a specific style that you write, or do you just write it up, put it on paper, throw the guitar, piano, or anything? Or Boy, you know... The music comes in myriad ways, mm -hmm. uh, but principally for me, the song comes first. Okay. The notation, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. lyric line, yep. the, the chord sequence comes Certainly. first, and then a melody. I mean, everybody's heard about Paul McCartney yeah. singing scrambled eggs <laughs> before it turned mm -hmm. into yeah. whatever song it was. And uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, the, the song we're going to do next is a, is a prime example. About eight or ten years ago, yep. we're sitting in a church again playing mm -hmm. Sunday morning service. We played with a band there. I played for about 17 years. Sam played for about six years in that band. Mm -hmm. we, that's the one where we needed a bass player, and he okay. showed up. And uh, we were sitting uh, after practice uh, one day, and I went, does this sound a little like Hot Rod Lincoln? I don't know oh, if, you, yeah. if you're yeah. familiar with that song. Yep. Oh, and I was doing this little bass thing, and it really wasn't... <laughs> mimicking it, but it kind of had the feel, yeah. and he starts doing this little thing on the bass, and I said, yeah, I think that no. could work, and then that, that was kind of the germination, and then it took another six or seven years <laughs> before it actually came back and turned into and the song that it is. just a little bit, yeah, right? And, and it really, it was going one way, and then it turned into kind of a song that blurs the sacred secular split oh, okay. in yep. a way that if you exactly weren't it. paying attention, <laughs> you'd say, Wow, that's that's kind of a swinging tune, you know. But then if you listen to it, it's got a little message in it. Oh, that's good. What's the name of the song? It's called "Long, Long Way to Heaven." Long, long way to heaven. Well, let's go ahead and hear the song. Yeah. Well, the other day, perhaps I was only dreaming. Saw all creation gathering two by two. Rub my eyes to my surprise, vision, dream, or fantasize. I'm standing right next to you. Cause it's a long, long way to heaven. It's a long, long way to double up. It's a long, long way to heaven. So much longer all by yourself. Here we go. It's a long, long way to heaven. It's a long, long way to double up. It's a long, long way to heaven. So much longer all by yourself. Well, they say there was a man who walked on water, healed the sick, raised the dead, saved the poor. From what I can tell, that's quite a tale. Even I'm some guy living in a whale. Hey, now, who's that knocking at my door? Cause it's a long, long way to heaven. It's a long, long way to double L. It's a long, long way to heaven. So much longer all by yourself. Here we go. Cause 
It's a long, long way to heaven. It's a long, long way to double up. It's a long, long way to heaven. So much longer by yourself. Someday that undertaker's nail that coffin. Pennies on the eyes of another fool. For what I've seen, tell and glean. Ain't no better saying, it's loose. How about you? Cause it's a long, long way to heaven. It's a long, long way to double L. It's a long, long way to heaven. So much longer all by yourself. So much longer all by yourself. It's so much longer all by, all by yourself. All right, I really like that song, you guys. Hey, I have uh, I have one last question. If you can remember, tell me the name of your. <laughs> sorry, we're old, but yeah. we're not <laughs> geriatric. Come on. Yeah. All right, gray. tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's prematurely gray. Tell yeah. me the name of your first band. Uncalled for. Un that's uncalled for. Well, oh, that was the name was. of the band. Oh, that's okay. the name of the band. <laughs> all right, all right, good. What about the name of your first band? Well, actually, I was in a duo like Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, sure. It was called US Two or. Us two, not to be confused Ooh, like with it. at the time, the We Three, we were us two. Uh, but the first real band that had multiple guitars and singers uh, was called uh, O'Banion. Okay, good. What about you, Fred? Rock Steady. Rock Steady. Well, those are all great names, you guys. Um, I'd like to hear one more song from you guys. Can you tell me uh, the name of the next song? We're gonna do a, a pretty simple blues and A, interchangeably called Long Neck Woman or Long Leg Woman. All right, great. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for being a part of Soundcheck, and I'd like to thank Greybeard for being here Thanks tonight. Thanks for having You're us. Welcome. All right, you guys yeah. are awesome. And until next time, it's Greg Sletton, and you guys keep on jamming. she did was run away from me she was a long-legged woman all she could do was run away from me I couldn't catch her all she did was run away from me nothing on her. She was a long-necked woman. Medigliani's got nothing on her. But she won't turn her head to look at me. I'm as far as she could see. She don't look at me.
long-legged woman And she's got a long neck, too She's a long-legged woman But she's got nothing better to do She won't glance back at me She runs cause she says she's free What can I do? 